my boys. Hey, look, man, I just want to say, man, I just appreciate everybody that's been reaching out anymore. Like, uh, that's been reaching out to your boy. Uh, there has a lot of things that have been going on, especially in St. Louis. It's just, it's not, I guess, if I've been a little bit, it's not exactly the flood per se what comes after the flood you know the damage and it's like um the rain it was so much rain for those couple of days um they the flood caused problems um like like foundation issues and then and then we realized it caused roof issues so it's like one of the ceilings and i i guess i'll show y'all eventually one of the ceilings like started to cave in in the house and we're like what the fuck you know what i'm saying anyways um that is um, that's the update, but uh, despite that, I just want to say thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for going above and beyond for your boy. I really do appreciate that, man. We're we're not we're not drowning in misery, all right. Today we're getting started on. What are you doing, boy? So we're doing the episode of King of the Hill today, all right? Man, and if you guys want to see the episode straight up, then um, I'm going to tag the page. It's called Tunes For Us, all right? I'm going to tag the page up at the top. You can get, uh, you can definitely go on there, and you can subscribe over there. You can check out those uh, you know, those pages, those videos over there. Um, so, y'all, thank you. Thank you to Tunes For Us, man. Your boy is ready to get started, so let's get started. Good purchase, Mom. I have any. <laughs> what? Hey, bro, the, the fact that he just slid in the kitchen all slick like <laughs> something's up with you, my boy. I even finished breakfast and that boy ain't right. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You and Bobby are on your own tonight. I'm going to men's for ladies game night. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of hoping we could do something that didn't require. Bro, if I saw, hold on, let me go back real quick, bro. If I looked over and saw my son doing that, I'd be like, bro, I don't know what your weird ass want. Get your ass back in your room and go to bed. Go to bed. You and Bobby are on your own tonight. I'm going to men's for ladies game night. Uh, now she's going to get a man, boy. For you tomorrow. Look at him. Get your ass back okay, in your room. hoping we could do something that didn't require a lot of conversation. You know the type of stuff Bobby likes to talk about. I say you take him to dinner. There'll be people around. You can talk to the waiter. You have options. Thanks. That's fucked up. You can't talk to your own son, though. So, uh, how's school? Fine. How's work? Fine. Two Kansas City strips, medium rare. There's something wrong with our steaks. These should be prime, and this isn't the marbling for prime. It's fatty in all the wrong places. Bobby, what are you doing? Don't insult a man's steak without tasting it. You'll get us killed. What? <laughs> the fuck kind of restaurant you in, boy? <laughs> Get a steak, get a bullet, nasty ass, ass, boy. I'm gonna get on your shit, boy. Ugly ass, man. That's a damn shame, bro. So, but I, I, I mean, I, I feel Bobby shit. It's like if you if you go down and you sit at a restaurant and you go and you expect what? You expect the service to be good. You expect when you go to a restaurant, you expect to sit down either to try something new and it be good, or try something that you already like and for it to be good. If, if Bobby sit down, he said, "Hey, look, something's up with my steak." Y'all need to take it to the back and fix it. Now, without being an asshole, without being a care, y'all need to fix that shit. What you talking about, bro? He's standing up for himself. I right, respect you. Everybody knows the tiny bone side of the sirloin is the most tender. What kind of steak joint is that? I'll go get my manager. He wow, called Bobby, him you sure do know your way around a steak. I'd have to agree with that. I must say, I have never seen someone so young with such meat savvy. I boy, get your, the producer of Mr. Rogers looking ass, boy. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, boy. Who the fuck are you? The movie executor looking ass, boy. I'm finna get on your shit. Hey, Bobby, I would like to take pictures of you. No, boy, get your weird ass, boy. Damn, stiff jaw ass, boy. I'm finna get on your shit, boy. God damn it. I have never seen a nigga jaw look so much like an elbow. Stupid ass, boy. I'm finna get on your shit, boy. Get your defined face ass boy squeedy beanie eye ass boy I'm finna get on your shit boy look like a black bean on a on a on a white plate I come here every night looking for the missing link to our team no nigga you got dolphin teeth and tonight I found you Bobby can I dad can I, I join you. the team 
I have been waiting 13. Well, hold on, hold on, my bad, my bad. I know I keep stopping this, but look at this nigga cut in the background. <laughs> Where what boy? Hold on, I'm finna get on your shit. Vietnam vet cut having ass boy. This nigga, this nigga Franklin D. Roosevelt cut having ass nigga boy. Get the fuck. I know that ain't like. I know you ain't got glasses on, nigga. You got the Google glass on, stupid ass. One little line, fat ass. This shit got a, got a little thing in the front, boy. Look like you an Obi Wan Kenobi, stupid ass, boy. Jesus, boy. <laughs> boy I just, just cut it off. Just cut it off, bro. Get the fuck out of here, boy. Just cut that shit off, nigga. It look like that, that nigga hair look like a convertible halfway going back and it got stuck stupid ass convertible top now here's there. for you to ask that two ribeyes one porterhouse three fillets one medium two medium rare and a new york strip well done Damn, well man. done that indeed ball, who knows where this could take him oh yeah real far he'll be able to skip a semester at hamburger school yeah this talent is a party chick to nowhere but it's cute you think your boy will be successful someday <sighs> some hey haters. coach i'm ready to work should I warm up with some ground chuck or just jump right in? There he is, everybody. This is Bobby, the one who's going to get us to state. And that nigga look like a hater, boy. A Harry Potter hater. Take man. down Texas A&F. So you're totally going to be better than our last guy. He was dead weight. I'm so psyched to be here. <laughs> look, I don't know all the technical stuff yet, but what I do know is that the ribeye thickness of that carcass is half an inch. No, Hank. He already has inside jokes and smells like raw beef. I gotta tell you, it's pretty great being a child prodigy. Okay. This is so exciting. Now you work hard for this and you're ready. All we have to do is get fourth place to qualify for the state championship. Okay. So they and they got second place and shit. That's what's up. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Being a child prodigy or just being good at anything, may, it gives you a sip, a, a, a sip, a sip. No, it don't give you a sip. Give you a sense of accomplishment, my boy. It's like you think about that. Like you, you didn't even know that you were good at something. Boom! Out of nowhere, somebody recognizes you, puts you in a group. You are the youngest person in that group. And, and you know what you're talking about, bro. That has, a, that has to be a great feeling. But let me just tell y'all this real quick, bro. Even if, no matter what you're doing in life, bro, even if you are not the youngest in it, and even if it might be your first or second time doing it, man, look, still keep on doing it, bro. Still keep going hard for it. If you, if you found something you like, then go hard for it, my boy. Shit, man, have fun. Live life, bro. You only get one of these motherfuckers. Time for the final question. The four teams with the highest scores will advance to the state competition. I suck at muscling today. Send me to Oregon's where I belong. Bobby? Bobby. Bobby. I got this. Okay, Which of these boy. carcasses has the most muscular round? Number two. I'm sorry. The answer is carcass four. Damn! Damn. I don't know why everyone is so happy. I almost blew it for the whole team. How did one fucking thing put this man down in fourth place, bro? I swear, boy, they be rigged. Is that beer root? You're being too hard on yourself. This was your first competition. If I had a nickel for every time I buckled under pressure, I would have five nickels. But Shut these guys are intense, Dad. I've seen Coach Styles hack up a cow torso. This is not a man I want to disappoint. You know who doesn't make mistakes, Bobby? Jesus? No. <laughs> I, I mean, well, yes, but no. How's everybody doing? Well, if it isn't a little gray soul. I know your little uh, Australian British ass ain't mad. I don't even. What, let me let me go back. What was what was that accent? What was that accent? I gotta hear that again. Hold on. Jesus? No. I, I mean, well, yes, but no. How's everybody doing? Well, if it isn't a little gray soul. I don't even know if that's German. That possum Putin. No, I don't even know what. I don't really know what accent that is, boy. But I know that chin is strong as hell, boy. We don't have time for squabbling. 
Yes, Bobby screwed up and he should be embarrassed. And yes, we would replace him if we had time. Damn. But he's still a part of this team. Did you know that no one can hear you scream from inside a meat locker? What? Interesting fact. Yep, my son is going to state. Bobby and I will have stuff to talk about for the rest of our lives. I'm ready to stop learning about beef and start eating it. <gasps> Everybody knows you don't sully your palate with meat the night before competition. It's the Texas A&F team. Stab one in the restroom. No. What? Let's blind them. They can't grade beef if they can't see it. Go grade some tofu, you losers. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're going to blind them for a whole two days with with pepper? With cayenne pepper? Well, shit, that is... You get it, poo, boy. You get a little pepper in your eyes, shit, boy. That's it. Legally blind. Just threw pepper in their face. Turns out these meat team people are a bunch of weirdos. Thanks. A boy who has a unicorn ranch in his bedroom shouldn't call <laughs> other people weird. I'm quitting the team. What? No. We were so close. Fine. Enjoy a bunch of crazy people rambling about meat all day. You know that I will. Just quit on me, Kaylee. He thinks all these people are crazy. Can you believe? What the? Oh, Y'all won't be going. It's the other team, boy. Anywhere today. Least of all the state championship. <gasps> That's right, jerks. You're being hijacked. Oh hell no. Texas A&F rules. Bro, you. She, this ugly ass boy, I'm finna get your Bonnie from Kim Possible looking ass bitch. Finna get your ugly ass, real rock and roll, dude. No, I'm finna get your skinny Adele looking ass and finna get shit, boy. Um, you, damn, you miss her from uh, Sex in the City, ain't you stupid ass boy? I'm finna get your shit. Lee Star looking ass boy, I'm finna get your shit, boy. Uh, look at this nigga in the background. I'm just here for the puss. Ugly ass boy, I'm finna get your shit, boy. Creepy, crawly fingers, boy. I look like that finger finna hop off. Um, hand off of Adam's family hand, having an asthma to get on shit. But now I'm just saying, bro, they literally, they can go to jail for hijacking a the bus. They ran a bus off the road full of people. They're hijacking them, and then they got a taser. That's assault with a ugly bitch. Ugly ass, I'm gonna shit. She's ugly as hell. Y'all could kiss stay goodbye. He doesn't want to grill with me. All he cares about is that I'm on some team. This isn't about you being on the team. It isn't even about beef. What your father cares about is that you two finally have something in common. Really? He's never chartered a bus for me, Bobby, as much as I've asked him to. Get me to stay. Excuse me, sir. I'm Bobby Hill from Heimlich County, JC. I'm looking for my team. You're it, son. The rest of your squad's a no-show. We were hijacked and stranded by meat-grading hooligans, you idiots. Wow. I oh, guess it's shit. a good thing. Got the team, you hear me? Got the team going for them, that's good. And we blindly followed you here instead of using a map. Or common sense. Oh, hello? Yo, oh, man, tell me that no, Peggy man won't talk to you, man. Peggy? Really? Oh, there was just a hijacking. I'll fill you in later. Come on now, Bobby may have different talents than you, but one thing you all share is your love of top quality beef. I don't care about beef. I only care about winning. Dude, I'm a vegetarian. What? They're all frauds, boy. You guys are even weirder than Bobby let on. This piece of veal thinks he's going to beat us? <laughs> <laughs> I do my talking on the cart. Right, right. Say that shit. <laughs> the competition's still going on. We've still got a chance. Bobby's in the finals. It's perfect. This is the marbling of your fantasies. They just want us to think there's a flaw. It's a trick. Why aren't you up there, son? They're afraid I'm going to choke again. Really? But Dad, I think I saw a flaw. Have you reached a decision? Prime? 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 Bro, they, so they really put this man to the side. Hold on, bro. They really pushed this man to the side even after he held it down for them. That's what I'm saying. You got to watch... You, you got people that's around you. They gonna try their best to down you. Keep them squares out your circle. No, for real though, bro. I'm for real, like, you gotta worry about, look at them. They got hijacked. They, they did something to one team. Their team retaliated. Almost kept them from the finals. 
Bobby's dad end up ta and weird friends end up taking them to the finals. They wouldn't even be there had it not been for Bobby's contribution, family's contribution, you could say. And then they have the nerve to push that man to the side even after he got them to that that point in the finals. Come on, bro. Like that's some lame ass shit. That's what I'm saying. You gotta watch the people get you around. Hardbone! No, 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 no! No! Shut your ass up! If you look closely at the chime button of the 13th rib, you will see it has begun to ossify. This carcass is too old to be primed. Correct! Heimlich County is the new state champion! <laughs> we mooch some hillbilly barbecue. I haven't finished my organic chemistry homework. You're three grades ahead already. Take the night off. I do know a lot about the female body on account I once saw a possum ripped apart. <laughs> Look at you, my two hillmen. <laughs> we might need more food. Hey, I've been like, I don't know why the fuck y'all gathered over here, but y'all not invited. You didn't bring shit but yourselves, ugly ass. That, not even utensils. Except Luann. Luann, you could come, but that, that nigga, you gotta go home. We've got company. Well, Dad, it looks like this is the last one. Oh, you're just getting started, Bobby. You'll be grilling your whole life. Just like you. Yep. Yep. That kind of brought a little tear to my eye, the last little part, bro. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Come here, son. Boy, what the... What are you doing? Y'all, that's the video for today. So if you appreciate the video, do your boy a favor, man. Hit the like button, go down below. Subscribe to your boy, man. I appreciate y'all uh, and all the kind words. Thank y'all for supporting your boy, man. But please, please, please do your boy a favor, man. Make sure you hit that like button, man. And as always, we'll be back tomorrow with another video. I promise we're gonna have another video. This week was a weird week, but I promise we're back on it, man. Love y'all, be safe, peace.